What's up you guys? So I tried intermittent fasting for a month. Let me tell you how that went. <laughs> What's up, it's your girl, and we'll call back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about my experience trying to maintain fasting. So since beginning of this year, you guys, I've added, a, I've added a lot of weight. Yeah, that's just a reality that I've come to, you know, accept. <laughs> since this whole quarantine thing started in March, and I started to realize this around, you know, early September. When I moved into this apartment, like, August, September, I was like, wait, hold up, what's going on? Now I even watch my videos and my face is so chubby. Like, I can't even <laughs> And I'm just like, why? But, you know, I'm not super worried about it, but I definitely want to, you know, take care of myself and make sure that I'm staying healthy and I'm not, you know, just staying stagnant all the time. So if you guys saw my work from home routine, I've been trying to work out every morning. Um, it doesn't always happen, to be honest with you. But, you know, I try my best. Um, I try to do, like, challenges from my favorite YouTubers and, you know, try to take that on and see what I can do. I tried intermittent fasting for a month. I think this was between late September to late October. And I tried it because a friend of mine was doing it and he lost a lot of weight. I was like, sure, let me try it out. And I loved the whole experience and you guys can will get to see how I was feeling in the moment. And yeah, this was my first day of intermittent fasting. Good morning, y'all. So today is my first day of trying intermittent fasting. I am doing the 18 by 6 program and so so far it's been good i actually just woke up it's like 7 a.m in the morning or almost 8 and i'm about to go do my workout i work out in the mornings and with an 18 6 program my eating time is around 4 p.m so i'm not going to be eating for a while um so let's see what happens but um for now let's go work out i'm not super hungry right now because i just woke up um, I don't really usually crave breakfast like like crazy, so let's see when I start to get super hungry. So if you guys have not heard about intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting is basically kind of like a lifestyle that you create for yourself where you have a window of eating and a window of fasting. And the fasting window is usually longer than the eating window. They actually call it the feeding window, which I really don't like in feeding <laughs> they have different like programs or you know timings you can follow the most common one is the 16 8 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of eating time or feeding time um, and so usually with that people would fast you know till lunch from the night before to lunch and then eat from you know 12 to 6 you know and that's is your 12 to 8 you know and then start fasting again at 8 so that's usually the common thing that people do there's also the 18 6 12 4 <laughs> like people fast for 24 hours for fast for three days so it's like depending on where you're starting from definitely start from like what is good for you can even start from 10 hours and then keep going up i used an app called zero it was a very very helpful app it basically keeps track of every single thing that you're doing reminds you of when you're about you know, or meant to fast and when you're meant to break your fast um if you're following a schedule it has a lot of good information on it as well it actually would recommend the fast to do this week based on the last week which is actually what i say I'm using it would say okay this week you did four 16 hour fasts maybe next week try you know one 18 hour fast and three 16 hour fast you know you basically will tell you what to do the week next week and the next week and the next week also don't kill yourself when i was doing the weekly fasting i took one day off i took sunday off so it all depends on how you want to do it intermittent fasting is, is not done only in one specific way you have to kind of create it to fit your lifestyle and how you eat and how you would make what will make you feel good and energized i just got back from working out and i didn't get lightheaded throughout the workout i still felt fine I am hungry right now. Like I actually feel like I am hungry and actually want to eat because I'm sure because I just worked out that I need to replenish, but I can't eat till four. So, so far it's been fine, but I definitely feel like the hunger coming in. I'm not starving yet. Um, I feel like I'm probably gonna get a headache to be honest with you because when I'm hungry I get a headache <laughs> um, but so far I'm still feeling energized and fine hey guys so we are at our almost 17 hours of fasting and I am so like lightheaded I don't know I'm just upset <laughs> I'm irritable I'm just not in a good mood and I am just like, I just had a work meeting and I literally couldn't concentrate on anything 
they were like people were saying I literally I feel like I didn't take I like I didn't retain any information so that that's the first time that's ever happened to me at work so like I'm just so like whoa I'm you know you're just like in this space so this is actually like hitting me now <sighs> but I'm going to finish it I already started it I like to finish the things that I start um, I'm still going to keep up with it for 30 days and I'll let you guys know how I feel but that's just how I'm feeling right now so I wanted to give you guys an update I just don't feel like I'm not and funny thing is like I'm not hungry like I don't you know when your tummy growls like my my belly's not growling like, I don't feel like what's the word um hunger i just feel lightheaded and fuzzy fuggy everything and i've been drinking a lot of water became myself hydrated so i don't think it's because i'm, I'm dehydrated i just don't feel energized <laughs> so the plan originally was to cook but then the way i'm feeling i'm just not going to be able to do it so i ended up just ordering food from this like healthy food restaurant called sweet green in philly my god i think i have like 30 more minutes to go and i need to eat so i just ordered <laughs> i ordered early because it's going to take about 30 minutes for it to get here this is literally how hungry i, I am how much i want to freaking eat <laughs> so i just ordered it and it should get here around four so four is when my fast is breaking um i'm literally have been looking at the app like when are you gonna get there <laughs> my god you guys i just got this order and i am so excited to eat my god actually so this is a place called sweet grain in philly i really like their food they're very it's really healthy and like a good portion but i'm going to eat more than this portion i'm just grateful to have food Whew, and this fish is good i'm excited so by the second week i was kind of getting the hang of it you know getting better at it trying my best to you know um stick to my hours and you know kind of meal prepping so that I actually have something to eat immediately um, I'm done fasting um, I also did not do a week two check-in for some reason I was looking back to my footage and I didn't do that but here's a week three check-in hey you guys so it is the start of week three of my intermittent fasting I'm very proud of myself for sticking and sticking to it that's I feel like I'm really enjoying it and that's honestly the reason why I've stuck to it for this long because to be honest with you like it's quite hard for me to stick with things but I'm really enjoying it and it's been a daily thing like I never forget to turn on my timer my like timer on zero and all those things so it's been good so far um so I used to, I said I started using I just finished working out so I'm like sweaty and disgusting right now sorry ignore that but as I said I started using the coach feature on the app and basically every week it gives you a recommended like schedule to follow and so last week it gave me um a, like I think I did one 18 hour and five um, 16 hour fasts and then this week it's given me three 18 hour and three 16 hour i believe um and yeah it's been good so far i i'm definitely feeling that i can do 18 hours like comfortably at this point like last week i even did up to like 20 hours some days um, just because i was busy and i just didn't have time to eat um but yeah that's basically been good as i said i switched around my schedule so now i'm eating more in the mornings the only issue with that is it doesn't work very well for me on the weekends when you know i'm going out to dinner with friends and everything because everyone always wants to do dinner that's like dinner is like social time so that kind of messes that up for me on the weekends but i think I'm comfortable with switching it around on the weekends and then during the week when I'm more at home then I can you know go back to my usual eating in the morning schedule um, but as you can see I'm just playing around with it trying to see what works for me um, that's definitely something to do when you first start doing something new that's like a lifestyle change definitely play around to see how it works with your schedule and what works for you um, and so so far it's been working for me um, I wouldn't say I've lost any weight like per se I think yeah, let's just see how this keeps going I'm really really enjoying it and I'm keeping up to and I'm also working out consistently as well and yeah I'm very proud of myself then on the very last week <laughs> I honestly felt really good and here's how I was feeling 
Hey y'all, what's going on? So this is my week four update for my intermittent fasting. I am so proud of myself, you guys. Like I have really stuck this thing through and I'm actually quite enjoying it. So this week I am doing all 18 hour fasts. So I've basically graduated from my 16 hour fast to 18 hours. So it's 18 hour fasting period and six hours feeding period. So, um, so far this week I have done two. So Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. I forgot to start the week by with an update but it's wednesday um and then friday i believe will be my last fast of the week and that will conclude this week and i will take you guys through that whole day of fasting but so far it's been great um i've definitely had some bad days but like i said whenever i feel like i'm way too hungry and i just really need to eat i just stop fasting i don't want to associate you know you know bad things with fasting because i actually kind of enjoy the process so i feel like i've done this very healthily i've actually done well for myself doing this so i usually at this point i'm fasting from about 7 30 to 1 30 that's usually when i start my fast around 7 30 and at 1 30 it till 7 30 and then start my fast again so that's basically what i've been doing um that has been working out for me it's been good so i basically get to eat sometimes i eat like two smaller meals um or sometimes i eat like one really heavy meal and i just don't eat again to be honest um and then um a little bit of snacking but generally uh, i've been eating quite healthy which i'm very very proud of you guys and yeah i'm seeing some changes on the scale which is nice but i'm also seeing changes in my body as well i also feel good i don't feel tired i don't feel you know groggy which is good um i've also been working out as you guys saw and that has been that has been good so i'm very excited about this journey <laughs> i'm very very excited you guys like it's been it's been quite it's been going well i feel like i'm most likely just going to turn this into a lifestyle um and yeah let's see how it goes till the end and then i also decided to vlog the very last day because i did the very first day might as well show you the very last day and also included a really tasty dinner that i made for myself in there as well it was amazing hello people it is my last day of fat what the heck is this anyways it is my last day of fasting in this one month intermittent fasting try out like review whatever we want to call it and today i actually fasted for 21 hours which is really ridiculous so that's actually my second longest i think my longest fast was 23 hours but yeah i'm about to break my fast right now i feel good this is actually a very big improvement because you like the first week at this point i was like <laughs> food like i was like begging for food but now as you can see like i feel fine i feel like okay cool i'm actually just going to go cook right now so i don't even have food that's already ready for me to just grab and eat so yeah i wanted to show you guys what i'm eating on this last day since i showed you guys the first day i'm going to show you guys the last day as well so i'm going to be cooking some salmon and um some brown rice and vegetables so let's do that I have my salmon here. I just thought it. I this is actually stock. So I never really tried this before, but I want to try boiling my rice in stock. Like I've seen that. Um, what's the word? In different places. This is basically like from when I boil my chicken. So I just keep the stock. And I feel like I'm going to try boiling my brown rice in stock i just want to see what it, what it tastes like so i'm sure this is going to take the flavor of the stock which is great um, so i'm going to do that and then um cook up some salmon and then steam up some brussels sprouts and broccoli and that's gonna be my lunch or slash dinner it's already 3 p.m so this is basically like a very late lunch um this is really kind of when i even eat to be honest with you so let's get to cooking And then wash this up, of course. I'll be putting in some of my chicken stock um, into it. So I'm just going to fill this with water and put it on the stove. So while the rice is boiling, I'm going to go ahead to start with my vegetables. I'm gonna chop off like the Brussels sprouts heads and then get to steaming. <laughs> So this is 
my pot of all washed broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I just like to steam them together because basically it's the same thing. Um, so this usually lasts me for a while. So I love, love, love just like steaming everything together and just keeping them in my fridge and I just like eat them as much as I can. Also because I don't like raw vegetables. I like to just cook my vegetables and this works for me. All right, so now I grab all my seasoning and you guys I'm Nigerian so I absolutely love a lot of seasoning I like literally I use a lot of like seasoning <laughs> in my food so I'm definitely gonna go in with some salt of course so as you can see as I said I absolutely love seasoning. I season my food a lot. Like I put a lot of seasoning into my food. And I don't think there's any problem with that. If y'all if if there's a problem with that, please let me know. So I know if I'm a, like a it's like a health hazard. <laughs> Anyways, but this is basically how I season it. The last thing I like to do is to put in some oil. So currently I've been using coconut oil. Um and you basically just need to put in some oil to kind of um, allow the vegetable to kind of like get the seasoning and I feel like it sticks the seasoning to the vegetable I don't know maybe it's just me but I like to put like two tablespoons of coconut oil in there as well I'm gonna put in some water um, you don't really want it to fully cover it just enough to steam and we're good to go as you guys it's time to cook the salmon I'm basically just going to be using the exact same seasoning I use the same seasoning all the time um, and then I'm just going to put in some butter in my pan and then fry or cook my salmon all right so my salmon is cooking I'm gonna go ahead and flip it right now everything is coming together my salmon is basically done I have it on very low heat um, then my rice is almost finished boiling. I'm waiting for the water to dry. And this is on the way. Just to just, you know, boil my vegetables. And yeah, it's time to plate. Or at least it's almost time to plate. Drain the vegetables. So everything, the vegetables is cooked and drained. My rice is boiled and my salmon is cooked. And that is going to be my late lunch um, yeah so I like to put a good amount of vegetables and some carbs as well as protein of course so I'm excited to eat I'm very hungry so I'm excited to eat <laughs> so all in all to be honest with you the intermittent fasting um, what's to call it experience was not bad for me the first day was rough the first week definitely was rough but once I started getting to the third week I started feeling way better about myself I started feeling energized and it wasn't so hard um, after that I didn't end up losing a ton of weight I think I lost about four pounds because I started at 180 I started at 182 and I ended at 177 pounds. Yo, I know I'm heavy. I'm heavy right now. <laughs> so I started at 182 pounds and I ended up at 177 pounds. Um, and I stopped at the end of the month and I was like, oh, I'm going to give myself one week break and then get back to it. I did not get back to it. So that's one thing that I also also like to say. If you're starting it, just start it to keep going because once you stop, it's so hard to jump back into it. So hopefully at some point, I might try it again and, you know, probably make it into a lifestyle. But at this point in my life, I'm just taking it easy on myself, um, you know, doing the workouts, trying to eat healthy. But in general, if you guys want to check it out, try it out. Definitely try it out. It's a new thing. It's, you know, it's like a challenge. Um, try it out for, you know, set up, set a 30 day, you know, challenge for yourself and try it out. Also, you definitely don't want to be looking at the scale all the time. You definitely want to be seeing if your dimensions, not dimensions, but measurements are changing. Like your waist measurement, you know, your arms, the part that you're trying to actually lose the weight in. I'm still on a weight loss journey and I hope to keep sharing with you guys how, you know, as it keeps going and hopefully I can, you know, get myself you know back to where I want to be <laughs> again so if it's your first time on my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and yeah I'll see you guys next time love you guys bye peace and strength